each and every friendship we have, each and every relationship, start with this the conversation. If you didn't feel so good about the conversation, would you have kept that friendship? How many times did you change your mind about the person after you, you had your first conversation with it? Guys, I'm definitely sure that uh, most of you have met a nice lady. You went to her and you said, Hi dear, how are you? And she started to talk to you. Let's say that her first reaction was that, Oh, I feel so bad. My boyfriend dumped me. What, what was your first reaction after that? I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with her anymore. So the thing is that in any conversation, the communication happens in four levels. For a good conversation, we need to start with a small talk. How is the weather? You won't believe it, but it's important. This will smooth your way into a friendship, into a conversation. Oh, look how nice this phone is. Small talk. We have agreed upon the, let's say, a good uh, feeling about the other person. We started to have a small relationship. And the next thing, the second level, is stating the facts. For example, Oh, hi, I'm Gabriela. I'm here to study. It's a fact. We are both here to study. So this, uh, this way we have established a common ground, a common subject. Which are the topics that are the simplest top topics to discuss about in a first conversation? It's about myself because I know myself. The other person to talk about itself. Or a common ground, a common fact. Let's establish that uh, we have uh, this phone or anything in common. We are continuing to have this conversation at the third level. Stating opinions and views on facts. Oh, but this is a Nokia. I think the Nokia is going down. They did not keep up with the technology as other uh, uh, competitors have. Do you think so? This is an opinion. So this, I feel comfortable to express my opinion to this person, although it's the first time that I'm talking to, this, to it. So this is another level, and also I, I am comfortable that uh, I can share this with the other person. Many times, when I don't have this feeling with, with uh, that person, I will finish maybe at second level, or even at my first level of conversation. This is a good conversation that will make you in, uh, take you into a friendship or even a future relationship. So, the third one is just stating an opinion. And the last one, which is the most important, let's say, and which made our friendship, is, are the feelings. So, at this point, I am comfortable enough to share my feeling with that person. From that moment on, I will become a friend. I will have a relationship with that person. My feeling is, that if I don't give a present, a telephone as a present to my daughter, she won't be so nice to me or she won't study anymore. It's just my feeling. So this is a level that is going to express a certain emotion and a certain personal feeling. Uh, imagine a conversation that started with level, level one with, about the weather. And as I was telling you before, a woman after that going to level number four, telling you about her feelings, about her being sad because her boyfriend dumped her. Would you consider this a first conversation as normal? It's strange for a person, for a new person to tell me, oh my God, I just told her, hi, how are you? And she already is telling me that her boyfriend is dumped her and she's sad. That's awkward. Of course, every conversation, and this is the starting one, but you will meet again and again. And there are different techniques that uh, you can use in order to have a conversation going on. One important skill that is, uh, is required is to have good listening skills. It's important to 
hear what the other person says and also to react to what they are saying. I think it's, you all agree with me that uh, if uh, somebody is telling you something on a topic and you are talking to her back on a different topic, she will not consider you as a good person, as a good, as a good communicator. Of course, not, not only listening skills are important, but also we need some techniques to have a better flow in the communication. Those are the open questions, or the open-ended questions that will help you, help you have more information from the other person. These open questions are the ones like starting with what, how, why, and the closed question, uh, as opposed to the closed questions, which uh, will, you will have answers like yes or no. So instead of asking, do you like this phone? It will say yes, no. You will ask, what do you think about this phone? And then that person will tell you positive aspects and negative aspects about that phone, and the conversation will go on. So, don't think that uh, I'm going to talk 40 minutes about this. We will have a role play. So I have here a partner and uh, we have decided on a scenario. There is nothing prepared before on the scenario. And we will talk casually, having a small conversation for five minutes. And after that, for two, three minutes, we will all talk about how this uh, conversation happened. If the techniques that I was telling you before and the levels, I have met them, or together practically, we have met them, and in the end, you will give me, give me your feedback. So the scenario is that uh, I have decided to go to tango classes, and of course, in this, uh, I'm going to these classes, and I'm going to find a complete stranger, a stranger to me person, and also the music music and I don't know anyone there. So let's see. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Hello. I'm Gabriela. I'm Victor. How are you? I'm really nervous. I, it's my first time here at England and it wasn't really that really sure to come here or to go to a stand-up comedy show and <laughs> I, I hope I, will, I didn't uh, make a good decision. Oh, but I'm also the first time here. Yeah. And I hope there is no uh, need for a partner. I hope, I hope that there is no need because I really want to learn uh, tango. Do you think that uh, they will ask us for a partner? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, on their uh, poster they said that you didn't need a partner. Do you know when the classes are? Because I have an issue with the, the work. With work, you know, I work until six o'clock, and uh, I cannot go to the, come to the classes earlier. Well, I think we, they are usually will start at around 6.30 and then they, are, uh, they will be for an hour and a half. And um, I'm not sure that I had to bring some, uh, some uh, other type of shoes or are this good? Because if I'm going to step on your toes with these ones, I'm not seeing you very well. I, I, I suppose we should ask that, right? Because uh, maybe... Maybe more, <laughs> maybe more details with that from them will be more uh, accurate for us. And uh, I think that uh, tango is a very delicate uh, uh, dance and uh, as you said, I don't think that uh, the shoes are appropriate. Uh, I was hoping that uh, uh, it won't be so strange coming here alone. Uh, did you come alone? Oh yes. Are you, do you feel that uh, it's a little bit strange here, the atmosphere? Oh. Everybody looking at us, like uh, we are the only person here for the first time. Yeah. Everybody knows tango? I don't know, but my tango is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do the Do you think that we'll, have, we'll make a good impression for the first time? I'm sure I, I won't. I'm positive I won't. I will be sad because uh, I, I'm sure that uh, I will be, they will have uh, high expectations of us. Or they can have what they want. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, uh, when do you think that they will start? Well, uh, a friend of mine is uh, usually coming, comes here and uh, 
Well, to be honest, he said, well, I'm going to this tech, the dance is lessons because it's the only place where I can have girls. But uh, personally, I want to come here to really learn how to dance, not only have girls. And uh, they said that usually sometimes happens that it, they start five, ten minutes later. Okay. So maybe we should, we should uh, just... Uh uh, ask the, the teacher if uh, we need uh, some special preparation, right? Yeah. Let's go. Thank you. Bye. So this was the uh, conversation, the best conversation. And uh, now uh, I would like your feedback on how did you think this conversation went. If it was a good, an appropriate conversation for a first time meeting, what do you think? Was it appropriate? For the scenario in the tango lesson? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Natural. Okay. Uh, did you think that I used I used the, did I take take you through the four levels of conversation? The first level the small talk, the second level the information. Yes, the fact, the information, the third level the opinion, and the fourth the feelings. No. Yes. no. Yes. Okay, you can be tough on me. I'm not, I, I know I said that uh, every, you are all good at tango and uh, I'm going to be embarrassed, but you can tell me. Uh, I expected you to have a conversation and started talking about other hobbies, except tango. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, what do you like? Anything else? Do you like anything else? except tango, like do you like sports or cooking or something else, other hobbies, mm -hmm. because uh, I had the impression that just talking about tango, you, you were remaining in the same circle and did not evolve <coughs> the conversation to something mm -hmm. deeper. All the conversation was centered uh, around the, the tango lessons. Mm -hmm. Any other suggestions? Yes? Yes, I, even though you went through all the stages, as you said, uh, I felt that for each of them, uh, the listening skills part was slightly lacking. What I mean by this is uh, the fact that each of you were talking about yourselves, and the other person immediately, instead of acknowledging what you said, started talking about himself, uh, like, yeah. Maybe. Uh, no acknowledgement of, of what the other person said and no uh, feedback, no communication in, in that sense. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Better than this girls? Okay. Anything else? Uh, what other technique or other question that uh, I could have used to, be, to have a better conversation? First conversation? Okay, so this is the, yeah? This um, my opinion is not so much about what you said, but how you think. Yeah. So I feel that body language in three years was a bit awkward. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I felt like, uh, I don't know, at least you were like pulling away a bit, and then she touched her at some point. And it felt like I was more concentrated on the body language than what you were talking. So I felt like it was more. What is that? Just look closer. <laughs> Don't you kind of expect some level of awkwardness in the first time? No, no, no. Okay, but at some point, don't run for what? But I think that was in, in a sense in line with what you said. You were both uh, nervous about uh, being there for the first time uh, and uh, uh, being nervous about that and having to talk with a stranger for the first time, I think that uh, it uh, leads up to the awkwardness that uh, uh, should be first. Okay, so thank you. And uh, this is also something that uh, I am still practicing. I'm not good at first conversations. And uh, I also uh, would like to have future first conversations with other people and meet other people. I hope I'm going to be better at this. Thank you.